not one, not two, but three little T's, which are baby tarantulas. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. At the Mid-Atlantic Reptile Expo, I was lucky enough to get a gift certificate that would let me be able to get not one, not two, but three little T's, which are baby tarantulas. And the reason I chose the three that I got was because I already have a few slings in my t collection, and I got these ones to round it out. So now let's look at my three little T's. So let's first talk about my Tiltacotyl albopilosus, or the curly hair tarantula, previously known as Brachypelma al albopilosus. As an adult, they're characterized by their brown, small hairs and their very long, curly hairs, which is why they're called curly hair tarantulas. They are terrestrial species that make very big burrows. And they're a fairly large tarantula, getting about five and a half inches from toe to toe as an adult. And this species is commonly kept in, as a pet because they're very docile and they're easy to handle if you choose to. And my second sling is my Anfoma pelma simani, or the Costa Rican zebra knee tarantula, or just the striped knee tarantula. As an adult, they have a black or dark gray body with white stripes on its legs on the joints. They are terrestrial species, but make very deep burrows which can be 12 to 15 inches deep in the wild. And they're around the same size as the curly hair as an adult, getting about five and a half inches from toe to toe. And my final sling is my Davis Pentalorus, or my Guatemalan Tiger Rump Tarantula. They are, as an adult, they have an orange carapace with possibly some red and pink stripes and the same colors accompanied with black and a tiger stripe pattern on their abdomen. They are a semi-fossorial species and they are a heavy weber. They are also a very fast growing species as they are a dwarf species, getting only about two inches from toe to toe. So those are my three little T's. And there are of course pros and cons to getting a sling. And I've made a video on that, so please watch it. And in the future, when these tarantulas get bigger and get their full grown colors and patterns, we'll do recap videos and talk more in depth in about them. So thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.